Hey guys, we're here in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, and we're staying in a park called Oak Haven Campground, and we're here for a month. Uh, monthly residents use uh, metered power, and that means you pay for it. So we're going to show you a system we developed to track how much power we're using uh, on the fly from inside the coach. So power, as most folks know, is measured in kilowatt hours. That's typically how campgrounds are going to charge you for power. And most campgrounds will have a box like this with a readout, either digital or analog like this one, that shows how many kilowatt hours are on this meter. Um, when you move in, if you look at that number, and when you move out, if you look at that number and you subtract the difference, that's gonna be how much they're gonna charge you. Um, that's how many kilowatts they'll charge you for, and then it's times the kilowatt hour charge, which can range anywhere from eight cents to, well, I've seen six cents in Texas, all the way up to 35, 40 cents in some areas, depending on what the campground policies are. So this is great, and you can figure out how much power you're using, but it's not gonna show you specifically which devices are causing a lot of your power consumption. We're gonna show you how we monitor it directly uh, one device at a time. So at the center of our system is this little guy called an Effergy Elite. We're not sponsored by them. Um, we are not affiliated at all with them. We found them on Amazon. We've been using this for a little over a year now, both in our residence and in the RV, and it's been working great. Um, this is designed for residential use to hook up to your panel power panel in your house. We use it to hook up uh, to our main power feed in the RV and it works exactly the same. Uh, essentially how this works is you can enter in the amount per kilowatt hour that the campground is charging you and then it automatically calculates based on the usage that the remote sensors are picking up from outside how much you're spending real time. All right, so this park does not have 50 amp service. So we do have our standard dog load going from a 30 amp to a 50 amp. This right here is the box that we constructed for the Effergy uh, transmitter. If we open this up, we'll show you briefly what's going on inside. It's a clear box that you can purchase with a waterproof strip here. And basically what we've got is our electronic monitoring system, which we'll take out for a second. And here we've got our two power probes. And this is 110 and this is 110 hot wire. And then you've got your neutral and your ground in there. Everything's insulated. No copper is exposed except for the ground. Um, and that just allows our uh, power sensors to pick up how much power we're using. So what we love about the Effergy Elite is the computer that's built into this little device. What it allows us to do is track exactly what devices are causing power drains for us. Uh, the remote sensors on this communicate and they update each other every 10 seconds. And what that means is we can turn on a tea kettle or a microwave and it'll instantly tell us what that is causing in terms of a drain per hour. Um, Beyond that, what it does is it gives us our total drain per week and per month. Uh, so it actually will tell us real time how much we're using for that month. So if we ran the air conditioners for two or three days, it would give us a total amount in dollars, as well as in kilowatt hours if you wanna see the data in that, but in dollars, so we know how we can adjust our power consumption accordingly to our budget. When you utilize power, you create carbon dioxide. It's generally created by the power plant that's giving you the power, but if you're environmentally conscious and you want to uh, do as little to negatively impact the environment as possible, you want to be very mindful of your CO2 output. Uh, the Effergy unit's really great because it actually tracks your CO2 output, and depending on how much power you're using will tell you uh, what your uh, footprint offset is, which is pretty cool. For folks that aren't full timing, you can use this device in your house as well. Um, you can buy additional sensors, leave them in your house, and then have some in the RV for tag along as well. Um, and there's a button right here on the back that allows you to link the various sensors to the device. Um, I believe it supports up to four, so you could use one device for both your home and your RV, which would be really cool too. There's a complete write-up on how we design this system, the type of cable that you need to use, and uh, what other precautions you should take uh, to create your own Effergy device for RV use. And we'll put the link up here. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the blog directly on livinglight.net, and you'll receive email updates of all of our posts.